YouTubers, Old Radio Al here. Today we're looking at a a small pre-war All-American 5. This is an Admiral. It's a um, Model 15 Channel D5 or simply a 15 D5. It's made by Continental Radio and Television Company of Chicago. We've uh, talked before about Admiral being a a brand for Continental, a brand name. This little radio is called a a, a a streamliner for obvious reasons, you know, kind of a a bullet cabinet. The cabinet's uh, it's modern plastic. It's not Bakelite. It came in two colors, uh, this one which is uh, mahogany and they came in an ivory with uh, gold trim where this, this stripe would have been gold and there was some gold on the grill work. It's a broadcast band only, you know. Not a real expensive radio I would think. No idea really, you know, what they sold far back in uh, 1941 it's got a, a built-in loop antenna it's got and it has a back and I took the back off to show you this loop antenna it's interesting to me for uh, well I'll get to that in a minute but the design of this is it's called a spider web antenna that's according to the back here. Neat little set. I had this for a while and I never did anything with it and you know as you know I've said I'm slowing down on doing radio repairs until after Christmas but over the weekend I found I had a few hours and I wanted something to do and I thought wow this this one will be an easy one it's just a little all-american five little did I know <laughs> you know had to replace every wire in this radio they used uh, the old rubber wire you know brittle Insulation falling off the wire. It was just a little pain. Had to rewire the IF cans. Every point-to-point -point wire, just just a headache. You know, sometimes that happens. You know, you'd like to think it happens on a <laughs> nice, expensive radio, but in this case, it happened on this little guy. That antenna, as I as I mentioned, is uh, interesting to me. The the design of it. The reason being, I have only two other radios that have that type of antenna in them. One of them is the other Admiral that I've got. Um, it's, what was it, a 4203B6, which was also from 1941. The other radio that I have that has a similar antenna is that Franken radio the one that was cut down from a uh, radio record player combo you know maybe it, it's a reach I don't know but it makes me wonder if if it wasn't an, if that Franken radio wasn't an Admiral or one of the other brands there were several that were manufactured by Continental Radio it's something I've started investigating I'll look into it a little bit more it'd be nice to figure out what that radio originally looked like and you know where it came from but back to this little guy let's uh let's give it a listen I think it's a cool little little radio I can see this sitting on someone's you know, bedside table or something like that. Tell them to look at the 
It's from the it's a motion picture soundtrack, Hollywood Canteen from 1944. Pro, you know, a morale, morale uh, or propaganda, whatever you want to call it. Recorded tap dancing. We had some nice, uh, nice feedback on the the Pearl Harbor Remembrance video I just did. Some some nice comments and some really nice uh, PMs. I think it's uh, you know, I think it's really important to you know not only remember our history but hopefully to learn from it. You know, looking at the world today doesn't seem like any of us really learned a lesson from the events of our world wars we've and in fact you know we've we've kind of romanticized and I'm as guilty as anyone uh, particularly World War II I'm something of a World War II history buff 
you know, motion pictures particularly, and I'm not talking about the ones like uh, this one that were made during the war for morale, you know, have romanticized it. I think uh, we all tend, tend to also um, look at these events as part of a big picture, you know, a, a cause, a, a political or even a personal rights thing. You know, to me, the, the history that's the most interesting and means the most is the individual history. You know, how these events affected individual persons and families. You know, no, no uh, nation ever goes to war, you know, thinking they're in the wrong. You know, everyone wants to be justified in what they want, want to do. You know, and what they're doing, even even, you know, no nobody wants to be the bad guy. You know, uh, you know the the Japanese soldiers of World War II were doing their duty just like our guys were. You know, very few Germans were Nazis. Anyway, sadly lacking, I think, are, are the individual accounts of these events, like Pearl Harbor and, and so on. You know, there are some, and, and those I've heard or read are really engrossing. Uh, you know, some someday I'll make a little video and, and tell you about some of those books, you know, that you could read yourself. They're just fascinating accounts. Uh, but, you know, it's sad to me that, uh, you know, we've let a lot of this history slip away from us without it being properly heard. You know, history books, you know, they tend to look at big events and the big picture. And, and also it's most often written by the victor or, or the majority, you know. There are real people behind all that history, you know. A few years ago, uh, my youngest son and I, this, here's an example for you. My youngest son and I were out for dinner and an older couple came in and sat down a few tables away. And you know, I noticed them. And when we got ready to leave, I told the waitress that I wanted their bill. I wanted to buy them dinner. I told her, you know, please don't say anything until we're gone. I don't want to make a fuss or anything. I just want to do it. So I, I paid the bill, and as I was leaving, the waitress asked me if I wanted her to give them a message. And I, I told her just to tell the man it was from one, one sailor to another. So we got out to my truck, and and uh, my son asked me, Dad, wh why did you buy their dinner? And I said, Joe, that man had on a USS Arizona Survivor hat. You know, he's he's one of the few that survived the sinking of the Arizona at Pearl Harbor. And, you know, my son had no clue what I was talking about. And I had to tell him the whole story of Pearl Harbor, which I did while we uh, went across the street to the grocery store. So we came out of the grocery store, and as we we did, the man and his wife were getting into their car across the street. At, at the restaurant my son he got he got really excited he said dad dad look there he is you know that that man went from being just some old man to being somebody important in my son's eyes with you know just a little bit of history being known I was proud of him that day and I have to say he's been much more mindful of such things since you know as, as we all should be you know, I know my son went on to have some conversations with his grandpa on his uh, mom's side about his service in the Marine Corps in Korea, you know, before he passed on. Now some of that's been passed on to my son, too. You know, maybe someday he'll pass that on also, you know. Anyway, enough of me talking. You know, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing this little admiral I really like this little guy and uh, you know more more radios on the way